All right, this is the installation video of blinglights.com LED DRL strips. best option is to find out first thing where you want to put the LED strip whether you want to put it underneath the headlight on top of the headlight on the side on the bumper wherever you're gonna put it that's your choice I chose to put it on top of the headlight here and make sure because the where the LED is set on here the strip that it faces outward this way so you can see it when you look at the headlight I'll show you that after we get it installed all right you want to try to run the wires so they're sort of hidden so they don't interfere with anything and you can't really see them it looks better when you can't see the actual wires I mean underneath the hood when the hood is closed who cares if the motor sees the wires it's a matter of getting the wires to actually go somewhere too all right, let's do this. See if I can. Actually, it might be easier to feed the LEDs through. Yep. There we go. As you can see, there's a little bit of a hole right here. Just feed the LEDs through first, leaving the wires underneath. You want to be very careful handling these LEDs too because they are somewhat brittle. Um, you don't want to bend these a complete 90 degrees. This is about as far as you want to bend it right there. I know it doesn't leave you much room, but we do the best with what we got. Um, basically when you do set it up you want to don't take the tape off yet you want to mark it up first see how long you need see how it goes right to the corner basically it'll kind of round around the edge but it'll it'll fit and then on the strips there are little scissor markings basically you can cut it at every single one of those so I chose, I think this is the third one on mine, but there's about this much more. I think they're 19 or 20 inches long, something like that. But you can cut them to length. You don't need to use the whole thing. And then once you're ready, um, take an alcoholic um, swab pad, which comes with the kit, something like this, an alcohol swab. Take this out, then you're gonna clean the surface as best you can get all rid of all the dirt because this won't stick unless you get rid of the dirt then you take off one side here and there you go basically you want to start from the top and work your way down so in other words start right here and then firmly press it down as you're going down the edge of the headlight and then to move some stuff out of your way if you have to remove some clips some brackets whatever you got to do to get it out of your way because it makes it a lot easier to install and basically almost like putting a sticker on your car run it right around the edge like that and then underneath and you should be good basically the LED is around the edge just keep pushing your finger on it to make sure it stays then put the bumper back where it goes and then next thing is is to wire in the negative and the positive basically red is positive black is negative always um, on my car it's fairly easy I don't have to splice any wires um, there's already what they call a city light which has a plug for it which I've already got halos wired into my car so it's even easier for me what you want to do is put the positive with the positive you know take them out right quick since these are so thin what I did was I cut enough room so I can double up on the wire to make it a little bit thicker 
Now what you do is put the wire, just kind of set it in there far enough to where it won't touch anything on the outside. See, that's what I'm saying. These things are so brittle and so tiny. There you go. And then take the wire that you've already had, like I got. I got. Obviously, make sure the positive goes with the positive. And just... Where is it? Stuff it in there with the wire you just put in. And that should provide a good enough connection. Then do the same thing with the negative. Double it up just to make it thicker. And then sometimes I'll twist it just to keep it together, make it easier when putting it in. Then you're going to put it in the negative spot. Take the negative that you've already had that was in there. Push this into its spot. And then bam, you've got positive negative power. Negative ground, positive power, I mean. And um, sometimes it's not this easy. Sometimes you want to try and find like a bumper light or even your turn signal. If you want them to blink with your turn signals, you could put them in with your turn signals. But for me, I didn't want them to blink. I wanted them to stay set and constantly on. I set them with my halos, which will be constantly on. We can test them real quick. And bam see that you've got the strip and every LED on it works and then do a quick right quick and you can actually see how they look inside or on the headlight And there you have it. Your LED strip installation on a 2003 Lexus IS300. And like I said before, you don't necessarily have to use... I just got lucky that there is a city light for me. Um, if you want to wire it directly into the actual headlight, all you got to do is is cut off right here, figure out which one's power, which one's negative, and then what you do is is you take a butt connector and you connect the two correct wires together, and you're all set to go.